So I've been thinking about this Kang guy, and I don't think I care for him very much. A reminder that one lucky citizen can win themselves a tour of my citadel by finding the elusive golden ticket. Strong, independent, exoskeleton bound. I gotta find him before it's too late. I rode over as fast as night wind could kill. So far, I owe you, stranger. Come on, let's get to searching. Now remember, be on your guard. The senior run of the mill totem we're dealing with, it's a living totem. Them fellas over yonder look mighty suspicious. What are they up to? That's the totem! I'd recognize that half-buried mug anywhere. Hey! This is our giant head! Anyone other than the Kree who tries to approach it will answer to us. Y'all best step aside. That thing is more trouble than you can imagine. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've been itching for a good fight. Come on, compadre. Let's take these warmongers down a peg. Ha! Turns out camping out by the hedge and picking fights with outsiders that came near was a good idea. Guess I owe Travlar that sandwich. <laughs> these fellas seem prepared to go all out for the total. He must have used some kind of mind controlling power. <laughs> I came as soon as I heard. Fighting at the old head? I'm in! We gotta keep whittling down the totem's army. Figure that's the last of them. Now we can finally take care of the totem himself. Hold up. This is just the head of them floating Kree statues, ain't it? What? Well, this is embarrassing. Hmm. Red Wolf has been expecting you, Pilgrim. Dang it! What a mess! Big skull in the sky. You are a friend of the Rawhide Kid. You must... Then it is settled. Speak with the townsfolk and take heed their words. For in them will lie the path to the totem. Somebody ought to do something about those pesky gophers digging up the town. Been hearing some unusual noises at night since all these new places sprouted up. I'll be trying to sleep, and suddenly I'll hear a little voice telling me to fight something called a hexagon? Oof. There's a real weirdo walking around town lately, supposedly looking for some sort of evil fishing pole. Heard he got into some business with them Cree fellas down by the border over a giant head. I mean, I ain't gotta tell you that that ain't regular. Her Where in tarnation they go? There's a real peculiar type spending most his days at the saloon of late. Tall fella, wears a big coat all the time. Reckon there's only one reason person wear a coat that big. Something to hide. Or, cause he's cold. Uh. 
So, uh. two reasons, I guess. Heard there was a chicken outbreak in the saloon the other day. Gave the sheriff a real good pecking, I hear. Saw someone real strange coming out the sheriff's office the other day. Big face, little arms, little legs, floating chair. Said he was the sheriff now. I tell you, it takes all kinds. Looks like that voodoo wall surrounding King's Tower disappeared. Where in tarnation they go? Have you learned anything of the totem? So, the saloon. If we knew who occupied the large coat, this information could be useful. That does sound unusual, but it does not shed any light on the totem or his whereabouts. Hmm. I believe he's referring to Modoc's brief role as the town sheriff, rather than anything regarding the totem. I've noticed a number of... I, uh, I think that that person is referring to the Rawhide Kid, though it is troubling that this is the reputation he's garnered for himself. So far, I've learned nothing from the wind or the mountain. The river said it... Reckon there's something in the water lately, as I could have sworn I saw this big pole with a face on it walking around the other day. And it gets stranger. Soon as he noticed I'd seen him, he put on this big old coat and scurried off. I wonder where he went to. What else say the people? That indeed sounds like the totem. We need only to learn of where he goes. It would appear we have learned enough. Of course. Something tells me that story doesn't end here. Let's wrap this saga up in a Gwenpool mission! You have done much for Rawhide and myself. As soon as he returns, the two of us will go after the totem. and ready to take you through on another one of my special missions. This one's going to take you way back to the Old West. <laughs> Bad guys' faces swollen, keep them pink bricks rolling, Gwenpool! Rawhide Kid and his longtime brother-in-arms, Red Wolf, have received news that an old foe is back in town, the Living Totem. <laughs> Our heroes head into town, spurred on by the townsfolk, they are steered to the saloon. Come on, you varmints, that was two cowboy puns right there. Inside the saloon, our boys find the living totem hard at work. Completing a death ray, forging a metal army. No, rehearsing in his one alien show. Humans are mean and should just be conquered already. Dinner theater, will these villains stop at nothing? How exactly do you go about defeating a giant indestructible alien totem pole? I'm not going to be much help as I haven't read this stuff. Lucky for you youngins, the kid and Red Wolf's gonna learn us how. This town ain't big enough for the three of them. Yeehaw! All right. This darn totem has got to be around here somewhere. Look, Rawhide. Over there. Put him up, totem. You ain't fooling no one around these parts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 